and welcome to Journey to Kidlit. My name is Brooke Van Sickle, for those of you who don't know me, and five years ago I made some major publishing mistakes. Thankfully, I learned a ton since then, but it would have been nice to know these things before I submitted my manuscripts. The first thing I did was I didn't really know the market. I had an idea for a picture book for teenagers. Makes sense, there's a bunch of adult picture books out there. Except they're not exactly kids books. So when I'm submitting a picture book manuscript to editors and publishers, they're expecting something completely different than what I had as a submission. If you're not aware of what the age categories and genres are for kids books, you should probably check out the link below in the description. It's more surprising than you think. The second thing I did was I sent a rough dummy sketch. Now, I know how to draw, but I'm not a child's illustrator. And even if I was, you shouldn't send rough sketches of anything to anybody. If you're not an illustrator, you don't need illustrations for your picture book manuscripts. Instead, leave all the drawing for the professionals and just send your writing, because that's what you're really good at. The third thing I did was I didn't format it correctly. I know for sure I put my story on my illustrations, and I had a Word document, but I don't think I did anything correctly. There's a specific way you're supposed to format things, especially if you're going to do a print submission. Today, a lot of submissions are through email, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't know how to format your manuscripts correctly. If you need to know any more information, I also included that link in the description. The fourth thing I did was I didn't have anybody read it, not even my mother. I just thought that since I thought it sounded good and I knew that the grammar and spelling was correct, that it was fine. But there's a lot more to writing kids books than just spelling and grammar especially if you're doing shorter books like picture books because every word you choose matters and your word choice matters because of your audience and who's reading your books. So, even though you shouldn't have your mom read it, it's better than no one, but you should definitely have a professional read it, meaning you should search out a critique group or local writers group to read your manuscript before you ever submit it. These are professionals who actually study the craft and know what they're talking about. So that's much better than having your mom read it or your best friend because they're just going to tell you what you want to hear. You don't have to pay a professional editor, but you do need to have someone who knows what they're talking about look at your story before you submit it. And the last thing I did, which is probably one of the worst, but even if I had done everything else correctly of the last four things, the last thing I didn't do was be patient enough. I only submitted it to a couple of people, which in my situation, thank goodness, because I made all these other mistakes. But if my manuscript was perfect and I knew that it would, was able to sell, I should have submitted to way more than two people. I should have been patient and consistent and trying to get it out there. And that's what you need to do too. If you're on submission right now, first, make sure you get our manuscript checklist to make sure that your manuscript is okay to send. The link is in the description. And second, be patient. Sometimes it can take six months to hear back from somebody. Other times, it can take years to even get a yes. But if you really believe in your story and you really want to get published, take your time. It's going to happen. Believe in your story and believe in yourself and keep submitting. And be sure to subscribe to our channel. We post new videos every week. And if you want to learn more about writing and publishing kids books, be sure to check out journeytokidlit.com. As always, happy writing.